Hey guys, I'm going to show you guys how to use the color bar based on alert condition study. And so the first thing you're going to want to do, open up chart, go to analysis studies, and then you can type in CO and it will bring you down to here. And then color bar based on alert condition. And so first thing we're going to want to do is go into here and go to settings and inputs. And right here where it says output when condition true, switch this to use input data. And that way we're going to use, be able to use some input data and we're going to want to go to the alert and this is where we're going to create the conditional statement. And if you need some references for different things, you're going to want to go to the documentation from Sierra chart and I'll just link this in the description. Um, but you can see it's pretty simple. The bar open would be an O, high is an H, low is an L, close is a C, and then volume is a V, etc. They have these other different things, and then they have quite a few examples. So I'm just going to show you how to, for example, highlight any bar where there's over 10,000 volume. So the volume is a V, and then you just put greater than 10,000. So if we hit apply, now we're gonna see all the bars where there is over 10,000 volume. And I'm gonna switch this just to something I kinda of like. Um, so I'm gonna switch it to background transparent. So right here. And so now you can see backgrounds transparent everywhere where there is 10,000 volume, over 10,000 volume. And then I'm also gonna show you kind of how to use some studies along with this. So let's say you want a positive delta candle and you also want over 10,000 volume. So you can add the cumulative delta study. So you go to cumulative delta and then I'm gonna add this one. Hit apply, so now you can see this is down below. And so now we're gonna want over 10,000 volume and an up bar on the delta. So first thing you want to do is go look at the study. So in the study you will see here, these are some of the things we're going to have to reference when we're creating the conditional. So the open would be SG1, high SG2, low SG3, and close SG4. So we really only need SG1, which is the open, and SG4, which is the close. And then you'll also want to remember whatever the ID is. So you can see the ID right here would be ID2. And so we're gonna to have to reference the ID and then put a dot and then whatever we are referencing here, SG1 or SG4. So I'm gonna go back and then for the syntax of creating this, we're gonna put equals and. And this is where we are gonna be able to create the two conditionals. So you're gonna put conditional one and then your second conditional. And so our first conditional is just going to be the exact same as we had before. The V for volume is over 10,000. And then our second conditional, we're going to want to reference that study. So the study was ID2. So you're going to type in ID2 dot. And then since we want a up candle on the delta, we're going to want the close to be higher than the open. So the close is SG4, and the open would be SG1. And so since the close is over the open and the volume is above 10,000, if both of these are true, then it will highlight it. And so now you can see it's only showing us where the delta is positive for that candle and the volume is over 10,000. And if we wanted to switch that, we could create it so that it is the opposite. And this would be if the delta is negative and there's over 10,000 volume. And so these are just a couple cool things that you can do. You can also use or, but this is gonna give us a lot of things because it's gonna give us over 10,000 volume or if we have a negative delta, right? That's just gonna give us way too many things. So we just want and, but that's just an example of using or. It's the same syntax, we have equals and or equals or, and then you have the parentheses and then your separate conditionals. 
So those are just some cool ways where you can create some signals, narrow down some things, and do some cool things with this study.